Mortal Kombat 1 is finally available worldwide, and what better way to celebrate than reacting to every single fatality in the game? Comment down below which fatality is your favorite, and also leave a like if you enjoyed the video, it really does help my channel out a ton. Fingers crossed that YouTube will be fair to me, because GameSpot made a video on this topic and nothing negative happened, Maximilian Dude made a video on this topic and nothing negative happened to his video, so YouTube, if you're watching, please be fair to my video and don't do anything negative to it either. And also keep in mind, the opponent is a lizard creature with green blood, so not human whatsoever, and all the content displayed is so exaggerated and over the top that it's a parody. It's a video game, every character on screen is fictional, and in no way does it harm the viewer. So without any further ado, let's get started, and keep in mind, I'm also going to rank every one of these fatalities as well. Alright, Johnny Cage. I've already seen this one, unfortunately, but it's still amazing. I like it a lot. It's a mix of like Cassie Cage and Johnny Cage. The fact their name is unique on the Walk of Fame is really cool too. And then he posts on social media. I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10 just because it's so creative and a lot of different things are going on and it has some rewatchability. Entertainment value is a big deal for me in fatalities. All super kick into the fancy car. Very nice, I like it. That's a cool costume too, I have it. It's brilliant. Oh, the butterfly doors in the fancy sports car. Oh, they're still attached to it, and it drives away. I've seen this one, but it's really, really good. Awesome. That final shot, the explosion in the back. This one's an 8 out of 10, because the entertainment value is so good. It's super unique. It adds new models. There's a brand new car designed just for this cutscene. It looks incredible. The glass physics. The animators went over the top just for this one fatality, and that's why it's an 8 out of 10 in my book. Oh, Natara. Okay, I have not seen this one. What is going on? Oh, that's the bats no poor batman is like shivering in his boots right now are we gonna give birth to bat babies mazel tov oh no they're just gonna fly out of the human corpse cave okay that one's quite original i'm going to give it a seven i love natara by the way so i am a bit biased okay what's this one? Oh, we saw this one in the trailer actually but it's still pretty dang good it's a reverse bungee jump accident <laughs> oh man that's so fun <laughs> i'm going to go ahead and give that one a six because yes it's funny and i can definitely see showing it to everyone in my family and my friends but it's not the one that i would do most of the time so it is inferior to the previous fatality for that reason alone i'm giving it a six. Oh, okay ashura we've seen this one hmm I'm gonna go ahead and just jump the gun and say, this one is a 5. It's really cool and flashy, but it reminds me too much of Mortal Kombat vs. DC. It almost feels like a censored fatality, and I'm not a big fan of those. It fits Ashra's character, but yeah, I'm gonna give it a 5. Not bad, but not great either. I hope this next one is way more violent to compensate. Oh wow, the Lasso of Truth? Wonder Woman? Let's go? Oh wow, that's not fun. <laughs> I think I still have to give that one a five, unfortunately, because yeah, it was good, but it wasn't over the top enough to like blow my mind. It's not really rewatchable either. It's entertaining, but nothing great. So yeah, middle of the road, I'm gonna give it a five. Oh boy, we got Garrus. I've seen this one. It's pretty darn good. I think when a fatality is extra brutal and mean to the opponent, it does get some brownie points. It's not the only thing that matters, but it is important. Yeah, I'm gonna give that one a six. Okay, that's a good outfit. What? what? Okay, this one's already a seven at least. That was incredible. Huh? Oh, he makes you look at it? Oh my god. Okay. <gasps> and then it loops forever indefinitely. Oh my god. That's a nine. That's a straight up nine. I almost want to give it a ten. That one is incredible. The idea that you're theoretically being fatalityed forever and it's set on a loop is incredible and only Garrus could pull that off. Yeah, that's a gold star for me. That's a nine out of ten. Oh, Havoc. I want to be impressed. Of course he would fatality himself. <laughs> of course he would. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna switch him? Is that gonna work? He's got a Zetarian. Oh no, is his heart chaos powered? W what? I'm not even quite sure what just happened, but that sure was interesting. <laughs> really cool. Yeah, I like that one. It's unpredictable, and that's the name of the game with Havoc. I'm gonna give that one an eight out of 10. I think it was cool. Oh, okay. I love the armor here. What? Oh, breaking his, okay, yeah. This one's great. Injuring himself as he hurts you. Why is Havoc made of paper mache? Like, what's going on here? That was cool. Yeah, I'm gonna give that one... I almost want to give it a 9, but I'm gonna give that one an 8 because, yeah, it was gruesome and epic and it fits Havoc's character, but I don't know. It's just missing something supernatural. I don't know. That's just how I feel. I'm gonna give it an 8. I'm trying to wing these ratings. That way they feel more natural. Baraka. Okay, I love Baraka. Oh, no. Up and through the ribs. Oh, <laughs> good aim. That was pretty epic. 
Yeah, I like that one. I'm gonna give that one a eight, which is pretty high for Baraka. Typically, Baraka's fatalities are just always slicing somebody up the middle, and unfortunately, it doesn't get much more creative than that. But this one was a nice twist on the original concept, right? It's still just slicing them up the middle, but the eyeballs was a nice touch. Oh, what are you gonna do, Baraka? Oh no, just taking the intestines. Okay, what? Oh, huh? Creative. Oh, what came out of the ground? What is that? I mean, I like everything but like them levitating. Oh, they're being held up by their own intestine. I see how that is. And they're all feasting on him. Oh my God. Yeah, that's a nine out of 10. That is a nine out of 10 to be sure. The sheer level of effort to make this fatality is why I like it. The animators had to work overtime and animate like five people instead of just two. So yeah, that's awesome. Nine out of 10 for me. Okay, Kenshi, let's go. I think I've seen one of his because he was one of the characters available at the very first day one test. Oh no, reptile. He's a swallower. He no spit. Oh god, and then whoop! Oh, the samurai shows up this time. I'm not sure if the samurai showed up in the original. I think the sword just sliced you, so that bit extra makes it nicer. I'm gonna give this one a six. It's slightly above average. Okay, number two. I have not seen this one. Oh, oh, it's dancing! Oh my god, it's break dancing inside your body. That was cool. Okay. Yeah, that's a fun one. Okay, yeah, okay. Pretty fun. I'm gonna give that one a seven. I think as far as Kenshi fatalities go, it's pretty good. It's just not very brutal. It's just efficient and kind of cool and stylish. So I'm gonna give it a seven. Oh God, Lime, here we go. I think I've seen both of hers, unfortunately. Light it up, 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 oh, light it up. This one's awesome though. I think this one is like an eight and a half out of 10. I almost want to give it a nine because the fireworks are so cool, but we got to make sure that nines are special. That's an eight out of 10. Pretty dang good. Oh, this is new. I haven't seen this one. Okay. She did. They pulled the jacks on him. Oh, again? Baraka style? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, the spirit ate him too. And it brings the head back. Yeah, I'm going to give that one... <sighs> a solid eight and a half out of 10 as well, because the dragon holding it in the mouth is really cool. Otherwise it was kind of generic, but that last part made it an eight and a half. So that's pretty good. I don't want to do too many in a half ranking. So Lee May is going to be probably the exception. Oh God, Kung Lao's are always special. Always special. Oh no, he still landed correctly. And then in half, yep. Oh my goodness, what can I say? I'm going to give that one an eight out of 10 because it's brutal. And it's awesome that he's slicing people up in creative ways, but it's not unique. I want it to be unique. Kung Lao always ends up having one of the best fatalities in the game, so I'm curious what his second one is. All right, here we go. Impress me. He's got the season of fire. Oh, no. Oh, God's coming down. Wow, he trusts that hat so much. He trusts that hat so much. I mean, unfortunately, that one's also an eight. It is cool, but I'm just going to go ahead and give it an eight. I think MK11 Kung Lao had some of the best I've ever seen. The ring the ring around the rosy where he spun him was just so good. Oh, Liu Kang. I think I've seen both of his, but they're amazing. This one's pretty cool. Saw it in the very first trailer. They made dragons just for this fatality. Boom! Very, very cool. I think that one is an 8 out of 10 because it's really cool and it's over the top. It's quick to the point, but I can't give it a 9. And that's because Liu Kang's second fatality is one of the best in the entire game. And you're about to see why if you haven't already seen it. All right, here we go. Show me something cool. Into space. Yeah, look how powerful Liu Kang is in this game. Not in story mode, though, ironically enough. He's nerfed in story mode. Whole thing just getting pulled away. Your entire existence being peeled from your bones. And then he just flushes you down the galactic toilet. Yeah, this one's a 9 out of 10. I almost want to give it a 10 out of 10, but it's not. If this one's a 9 out of 10, then, then the Garrus one is pretty much a 10 out of 10 because it's so incredible. Same with the Baraka one. I kind of want to give Baraka a 10 out of 10 now too, but you know what? There's still 9s because maybe there's a better fatality that I can see in this game. Oh, Raiden, show me something cool. Oh, I've seen this one. It's very brutal for Raiden, almost out of character for how good it is. <laughs> oh. And then smack them back together. I give this one a 7 out of 10. It's violent, brutal, pretty cool, but nothing incredible. All right, here we go. Haven't seen this one. Oh, no. Whoa, just frying them. Just cooking them. Extra spicy, extra crispy. Oh, my God. And then, like a bowler, he just goes through them and gets a strike. Okay, that one, I'll give that one an 8, just because it's cool that the animators gave us 
all the muscle tissue version of the model and also the skeleton of the model. That's kind of cool, and I can guarantee you it changes based on the character, like Melina and Baraka, for example, and Reptile probably has different muscle tissue color than everyone else, so those nice touches give it an 8 out of 10. But sadly, as far as Raiden fatalities go, none of these blew me away. MK11 fatalities were better for Raiden. Oh, Reptile, show me something cool. Reptile, I'm just gonna say it now, this first one, 9 out of 10. Really cool, goes on for a bit longer than I expected, and that's a good thing. This is a good fatality. Really good. Doing it to himself, though, which is kind of interesting. fatality deception. Boom, squash him, yep. 9 out of 10, really good, love this one. Super cool. What's this one? Never seen it, I'm excited. This one's gonna be cool. Oh, oh, okay. Then eats the head, classic. Classic reference. Doesn't eat it, just destroys it. Mmm, sadly, I must give that one a 6 out of 10. It's kind of cool, but it feels like something they had in the background, and they were waiting for a better idea, and the better idea never came, so they just went with this one. <laughs> Alright, Sub-Zero. This one is an anime reference, actually, believe it or not. It's like shot for shot from an old, like, 90s, maybe 80s anime. It's pretty cool. Bleh. Yep. I didn't like it until I realized it boomerangs around, so I give this one uh, 8 out of 10. I haven't seen this one. They're just staring at it. Oh, cool, an ice wall. Oh, they're stuck to it. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, what? what's that? Oh, the brain, and then again? Oh, wow. I may have to give that one uh, eight and a half out of 10. The previous one, I'm giving a seven. I give this one an eight out of 10. I'm changing my mind. I'm allowed to do that. It's my video. This one is an eight out of 10 because it's so brutal. And normally, that's not a huge factor for me. But in this game, Bihan is supposed to be the more violent Sub-Zero. So I love this. And to me, it's already as classic as the Spine Rip. It's such a cool Sub-Zero move. Skin and flesh does stick to frozen surfaces. So really cool choice on the developer's part. All right, Scorpion Fatality, here we go. I think I've seen this one. This one is definitely inspired by Snowblind. Oh yeah, that's cool. Efficient, fast, seven out of 10. Efficient, fast, cool. This one, never seen it. Oh, he summons the squad. Oh, he's getting jumped, fight back. Fight back! Oh, he's getting cooked. Oh my god, so cool. <laughs> what? Okay, that one's almost a 10 out of 10. That's a 9.5 out of 10 because it has all the extra work put into it. It's super entertaining, rewatchable, but then for the cherry on top, it's just the right amount of goofy, which I think is essential in making the perfect fatality. So this is definitely a 9 out of 10. 9.5 out of 10. The only 9.5 out of 10 so far. All right, what's next? Smoke? Oh, yeah, I've seen smokes. Uh... I give this one an 8.5 out of 10 because it uses his weaponry that's unique to him. Yeah, pretty good. Nothing crazy, but pretty good. Oh, new nice outfit. Looks like Scorpion. What's this going to be? Oh my gosh. Okay, very much like um, MKX when you did the, uh, the off-screen kill, the clan kill. Pretty good. I give that one a 8 out of 10 also. Pretty cool. Oh, Raiko, please do something crazy. Reiko's actually really good in the game, by the way. He's a really strong character, which he should be. Oh, man, the voice acting goes on. Oh, oh, no, oh, no. That might be one of the most unnecessarily brutal fatalities in the game so far. So I give that an 8.5 out of 10 because that's so gruesome and gory and awesome. Cool stuff. But again, it's a parody, YouTube. Don't get mad at me. All right, number two. How are you going to top that one? That was already too incredible. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh, with their own stuff. <gasps> oh! Oh! He's already done! No! Oh, and he stole Sub Zeros too. That's incredible. That's a 9 out of 10. That's the kind of fatality that if you're a squeamish worker, leave the building when they're working on this one. That was incredible. That was ridiculous. That's somebody at Netherrealm has a brain like me and knows how to be as ridiculous with the violence as possible. That's awesome. I give that one definitely a 9 out of 10. That was incredible. Sindel. We've seen this one, but it's good. Not as good as the MK11, though. I'm worried that Sundell in this game can't live up to her MK11 one. This one is an 8 out of 10 because it goes so long. And the, the dialogue is cool, too. Sundell's one of the only characters that talks in her fatality, so it's unique. Uh, no, you know what? 7 out of 10. What's this one? Show me something new. Oh, scream at him. Scream at him. Let him hear it. Oh, wow. Oh, no. 
Oh, the double replay shot. Okay. I give that one an eight and a half out of 10. That was pretty good. Not quite a nine because it didn't blow my mind, but it was unique and it played to Sindel's strengths. So I give that one an eight and a half out of 10. For the record, Sindel's fatality in MK11 where the hair goes all through your body, that's a nine and a half out of 10. Really good. Oh, General Shao, show me something awesome. Puts the ax down. Okay, how is he levitating? This is awesome though. Oh God, the camera is so cool here. They parented the camera to the body and then smashes them. Okay, that's pretty cool. I give that an eight out of 10. It's not crazy enough, but it is really interesting and I've never seen it before. So eight out of 10 for creativity, but um, it's not the best fatality I've seen. I'm hoping the second one is a bit better. Oh, it's General Shao. That's right, it's General Shao now. Okay, that's fun. Very similar. Puts them on the axe. There you go. Reverse tree cutter. Oh, Kung Lao style. That was really good. I give that one probably an 8 out of 10 also. Maybe a 7 out of 10, honestly. We needed a moment of the person like begging for their life, similar to MK9 Kung Lao's fatality, where they go, ah, 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 and like they're kind of like, no. We needed some of that. Shang Tsung, show me something. Okay, drink this. <laughs> Is that just lava? Did he feed them lava? <laughs> Pretty much, they're catching on fire. Oh, no, oh, he, they're, they are literally being boiled in their own juices. Wow, from a technical standpoint, that's incredible how they animated that. I'm not sure how it was done. So in that regard, gold star, I still think it's sadly just like an eight and a half out of 10. It was cool, but doesn't really play to Shang Tsung's strengths. Then again, in this game, he's more of a scientist than a sorcerer, so still pretty good. Let me know in the comments, should that be a nine? Oh gosh, here we go. On the table, we've seen this one. This one's interesting. No, oh, it's like an alien reference to give birth to my creature. <laughs> then it eats their face and does what? Oh, it just keeps eating. Oh, it's their brain specifically. That's pretty cool, but I think it could have been a bit better if like five of those things sprouted out like a hydra and just started ripping off every single limb. Then it would have been like a nine out of 10. But right here, it's just an eight. It's still cool. It's creative. Eight and a half, eight and a half, because it is creative. But uh, it could have been better if there was more heads, like a hydra out of his stomach. Instead of just like a whatever that is, like a dragon thorn thing. All right, rain time. Here we go. I haven't seen any of rains. This is going to be cool. All right. Uh-oh. Oh, is it boiling? Is that why it's, oh, it's just spinning really fast? Ow. Ow, that would hurt. Okay, talk about parting the sea. Parted your entire body. Uh, it's definitely creative. I give that one... It's gotta still be... I mean, the water physics was cool. I still have to give it just an 8 because it didn't, like, blow my mind or, like, you know, cause my eyes to open wide or anything. So I gotta sadly give it an 8 out of 10. I wish it was more. All right, here we go. What's gonna happen now? <laughs> okay, getting snaked, getting wrapped around. Oh, 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 this feels very Ermac. Very Ermac. Oh, oh, whoo. That last part was cool. I mean, it went on for a while. It was kind of interesting. I still sadly think I must give it like an eight, maybe an eight and a half. Maybe I'm getting numbed to the effect. That's the problem. The longer you watch fatalities for, like the higher your expectations get. I feel like if I saw it earlier, it would have been like an eight and a half out of 10. I'm still gonna give it that because I gotta be fair. Is it time for the cameos yet? No, Tanya, I can't believe we still have characters left. Wow. Ah! Pull it out. Pull it out. Gotta remove it from the bate. <laughs> Dang, gotta give that one a five out of 10. Like, yeah, it was brutal, um, but nothing crazy original. Uh, I guess the way that Tanya summoned a spirit to help grab was interesting, but I don't know. I'm just gonna give that one a five out of 10. No fours yet, so that's good. No fatalities have been dumb yet. I'm worried some of the cameo fatalities might be dumb though. Okay, cool, cool. Already summoning spirits. Poor reptile. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay. That was fun. Okay, that feels like a jade fatality, but a bit extra. And that's why I like it. I'm gonna give that one a seven out of 10. It was cool. It had some surprise value to it, but um, that's about it. I'm not really blown away. I'm just kind of like, oh, that was interesting. That was cool. Melina, baby. I've seen this one a hundred times. I've been playing Melina so much. That being said, it blew my mind. And if you look closely, the eyes get pulled out with the brain. So pretty cool attention to detail. It's violent. It's quick. Melina is one of my favorite characters. So I am definitely biased here. I give that one... You know what? I'm just going to give it an eight. It's very brutal. It's probably the best head bite that Melina's ever had. Um, but, you know, it could have been more. It's still good. I like it. Uh, it. It's what it needs to be. There's nothing wrong with it but it's still just an eight out of 10. I can't give it a nine. There's too many amazing fatalities already. What's this one? Oh, oh, make him feel it. Okay, he's already gone. Like he's not feeling this anymore. You severed this. 
Okay. Oh, well, God. <laughs> and then what? She just tosses it? Oh, no. Like, it was good, but... I, or it was okay. It wasn't good. It was passable. I gotta give my favorite character a 5 out of 10. There was, like, nothing special about that. Any character can break your neck, pull your head off, and toss it. That's not really unique to Melina. Maybe she could have, like, thrown it in the air and done some cool, like, side toss to it or something. It, it wasn't that great. The first one's definitely better. That's a 5 out of 10. Almost a 4 out of 10, if I'm being honest. Oh, Katana time, baby. We've seen this one. I give this one a solid 8. It's good. It's very good. Fast, good, brutal, but she stole it from Kenshi. Not original. I gotta give it an 8 out of 10. Still pretty good. Oh, nice outfit. Oh, the kiss of death is back. Cool, what's gonna happen? Oh no, they're melting! Oh, and they're vomiting too. Ew, this is grim. This is gross. Was that their blood? I can't tell because reptile. Oh, wow. Ugh, that was gross. Yeah, um, that one's a 9 out of 10. Just because it was super gross and it improves on Shang Tsung's fatality. So, like, his was already an 8, so this has to be a 9. That was good. That was creepy. The Kiss of Death has never, ever been better. Okay, finally time for the cameo characters. Darius, what you got? He's a really good cameo, by the way. He's super interesting and unique. Oh, that's a reference. That's a callback. Uh, you know what? 7 out of 10. Cool callback. Cool reference. Cyrax. I've seen his already. His is so mad goofy. Also a reference. Are all the cameos going to be references? I give this one... It's original, so you know what? 9 out of 10. Kano? What's Kano's? Just pulls the heart out? It's a classic, but... 6 out... No. 5 out of 10. No, 4 out of 10. It's classic, but you could have spiced it up. Sector. Okay. Oh, the squisher. Okay. Okay, I mean, short, fast, to the point. I also must give it, like, a 5 out of 10. Maybe a 6 out of 10, because it's so goofy. No, a 5 out of 10. I decided. Sonya's? Have I seen hers? Yeah, it's the kiss of death. It's okay. 5 out of 10. Could have spiced it up. Could have made it more unique. 5 out of 10. Frost! What's she gonna do? Never had a classic one. Okay. I've actually seen this one. Yeah, I've seen it. It's good. It's a kind of reference to, um, Deadly Alliance in a way. I like it. 6 out of 10. Jax, what are you gonna do? Get big and step on him. Okay. Uh, 4 out of 10. It's a classic, it's fun, but 4 out of 10. You know, it's goofy. What's Striker gonna do? Put a bunch of bombs on him? Okay, yeah. Uh, cool camera angle, mix it up a bit. 5 out of 10. They made it a bit better. Goro, what's Goro gonna do? Got four arms. Oh, that was quick. Just over. <gasps> oh, that was cool. You know what? I'm going to give that one a 6 out of 10. It definitely could have been better if he, instead of crushing their head, just shoved his thumbs in their eyes or something and then peeled them in half so they're alive the whole time. Come on, Netherrealm. It shouldn't be this easy to improve your fatalities. Come on. That could have been better so easily. I like how fast the cameos are going by. Okay, the classic. Uh, 4 out of 10. Lame. Like, could have been better. Like, 4 out of 10. Could have spiced it up. Could have made it more original. 4 out of 10. I get that it's a classic, but could have been better. This one, it still gets a 6 out of 10 just because this created the ESRB. This, like, changed games forever in a way. So, 6 out of 10. What's Kung Lao gonna do? Still a classic? Just down the middle? 4 out of 10. Maybe even a 3 out of 10. Boring. Come on. Spice it up a little bit. It's still a classic, but could have done a bit more. Motaro! I've seen this one. It's good. I like this one. Uh, 6 out of 10. It's interesting. And they had to change his because his fatality was non-existent before. It was lame. Stupid. Shu Jinko, what's he gonna do? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, the, the Kill Bill reference, gotcha. And their heart explodes, yep. That's pretty good. I think they could have added a reference to Kill Bill where he plucks the eye out also. That would have been awesome. If you're gonna do Kill Bill, shove in as many references as possible. I want more than just the five pressed heart explosion technique. Oh, yeah. Cool. Serena. What's this gonna be? Oh, heating up. Oh, <laughs> just the heart. Flux it? That's cool. That was interesting. You know, I kind of wish she ended it somehow by, like, pulling them in half or something. Or lighting them on fire and they combust. Or any number of things. It was missing that little bit extra. So it's, uh... It's a 7 out of 10. It's pretty creative. A uh, 7.5 out of 10. How about that? And we're done. That's actually it. Like mentioned before, please comment down below which fatality is your favorite for the main characters and also the cameo fighters. Let me know both. And finally, finish that combo by subscribing and ringing that bell. That way you never miss any future videos. Make sure to come back next time. And as always, stay underdogs.